Now we're back here at Auto 060 and Cristina Radio Network, and now we're going to talk to Julie Lee from AARP about uh, very important safety courses uh, uh, from that organization. This is a very important week for uh, AARP, talking about safety. That's correct? That's correct. So what is it, please? Can you tell us uh, about it? Sure. So um, it's a week dedicated in, in December, from December 2nd to the 6th, to bring uh, awareness uh, about safety to older drivers. And we here at AARP Driver Safety have a course um, that helps uh, drivers age 50 and older uh, refresh, refresh their driving skills. And our course is taught nationwide um, by volunteers. We have a volunteer workforce of over 4,500 people. And like I said, our course is taught in all 50 states to include the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands. And it's taught in both English and in Spanish. And we have a classroom course and online. And annually, um, approximately 500,000 people take our course. And I'm proud to say in 2013, we had our 15 millionth participant uh, take our course. Well, uh, so this course, is uh, uh, you have to be a member of AARP to participate, or how do people register for it? So, no, you don't have to be a member of AARP. Um, you can go to our website. It's www.aarp.org slash drive. And we have this really cool tool. It's a course locator. And what you can do is put your zip code in, and it will bring up the courses that are scheduled around you uh, in your local community. And our course is taught in senior centers. It's taught in hospitals, libraries, car dealerships. It's taught in a wide variety of different locations in your local community. That's great. I was just going to say, and we're very excited because we are launching a new course, um, a new smart driver course on January 1st, and uh, so we're very excited. Um, we're uh, updating our, our curriculum, and it's all evidence-based research. We were able to partner with the Eastern Virginia Medical School, and we've got um, it's just a more enhanced course that, again, launches on January 1st. Yeah, and uh, speaking about updating uh, the course, I guess that's because technology is advancing so fast in cars, right? I mean, like, there's uh, I test drive a new car every week, uh, sometimes like two or three cars a week. So that's a lot. But And I see, like, a lot of new technology, and it takes a while to learn everything that is in new cars. Absolutely. And one of the things that we, our new enhanced curriculum uh, really focuses on three different things. It's the uh, vehicle, the roads, and the individual, the driver, because all of those things have changed significantly over the years. Um, when you think about it, the people that are turning 60 uh, right now, when they were born, there wasn't even, even an interstate system. So roads have changed. They've become a lot more safer. But there's a lot of congestion, a lot more congestion on roads, lots of construction and that kind of thing. But you're right, the technology is a big piece in vehicles, um, and we do have a pretty robust section in our new course on that. The other thing that we have that we're launching in um, 2014, along with our new curriculum, is our Driving Resource Center. And how you can, it's an online tool, and there's a, a lot of more information in, on our Driving Resource Center and to include technologies. And we're really excited because there is uh, a resource there that shows um, 10 different videos, little video snippets of the top 10 technologies in cars. So a lot of times people are buying these vehicles and they don't really understand the technology that's in them. So these videos actually help um, the consumer uh, and our participants understand how that technology works and what it's there for. Yeah, because uh, these, these new technologies, even though they're amazing, I mean, there are cars now like the on the top end, like the Mercedes-Benz S-Class, the new one, that uh, almost uh, drive themselves, and this can give a false sense of security to some people because they might get distracted doing other things, and that even though they have that, this technology, that still uh, can create an accident, exactly. right? Exactly, and one of the things our course, you know, it is a refresher, you know, because because things have changed and cars have become a lot quieter, 
so you have the technology, but they're also a lot quieter. So people do tend to um, speed because they don't have that um, uh, that feeling that their car is going faster because they're so smooth and quiet. Um, the other thing with vehicles, because of that uh, technology kind of breakthrough, is that uh, pedestrians don't hear cars, like uh, electric cars and, and those kind of things. And so the driver really has to be, uh, you know, very aware of their surroundings um, and make sure that they're uh, aware of pedestrians and not speed. Yeah. Uh, here again, we're talking to Julie Lee, Vice President and National Director of AARP Drive, Driver Safety, uh, talking about these uh, curses that are going to occur this uh, first week of December. So, Julie, I see also like a lot of stats, very interesting stuff. Like uh, every every day, 10,000 people turn 65, and 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 you put many are still driving. I think that's still young to to, to say that. I, I I here in Florida at least, uh, there's people way older than that driving. Um, and, you know, our, our thought is, and the reason why we have our course, is that we want people to drive as long as possible, as long as they're being safe, because we want people to be safe on the roads and in their community. Um, it is a fact that some people, uh, men give up their keys approximately seven years too soon, and women ten years too soon. And if you're giving up your keys too soon, then that causes a whole bunch of other issues, such as isolation issues and the ability to get out and get around. So, you know, we're really um, dedicated, our course, to helping people, again, stay safe behind the wheel as long as possible. Yeah, because uh, in most states, I don't believe there are laws that, uh, that, uh, that you have to give up the right to, to drive. It's more that, that an individual or a family decision to be made, right? I mean, when, when you really feel that things are not safe anymore, maybe that's the point. But, like, that's why the importance of this course to somebody else tells you what, what are the signs to be looking for? Right. That's correct. And there, you know, that, that's later on in your life, and it varies um, from individual because it really isn't about a birthday. It's not how old you are. It's really about, it's about your health. And you can be a hundred and be perfectly healthy and be a very safe driver, and you could be thirty or forty and have, be in ill health and not be a good driver. So it's really, again, like I said, not about birthdays. Um, and again, that's what our course is all about—to help people um, uh, be refreshed. When you think about it, most people have don't take any kind of refresher course, and the last time they took any kind of driver education course was when they were fifteen or sixteen. In some cases, I know for me, that was 40 years ago. That's a long time. So a lot of things have changed. You know, like I mentioned earlier, roads have changed. And, for example, roundabouts. There's roundabouts that are popping up all over the United States, and a lot of people don't know how to navigate those. So we take time in our course to help people um, understand and not be scared when they, they come upon a roundabout and um, help them uh, understand how to navigate that. So you can find our course at www.aarp.org slash drive. And um, like as I mentioned before, we will be launching a new course called Smart Driver on January 1st, both in English and in Spanish in all 50 states, as, as well as online. And our new driving resource center where you can go and get lots of information, especially our videos on the new technology, that is located at www.aarp.org slash drc. Pues esa fue Julie Lee de AARP.com, así que les recomiendo mucho que vayan a esa página para revisar esa información sobre los cursos de seguridad. Esta ha sido una edición especial entonces de Auto 060 aquí con toda la información eh, desde Miami, desde Detroit, desde otras partes del mundo. Así que los espero en la próxima edición en Auto 060 aquí en Cristina Radio Network. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.